Welcome to the deep dive. Okay, we're jumping straight into a uh, a viral mystery that really got people talking, didn't it? It really did. Had you had the whole internet buzzing about like parallel universes, maybe time travel? Yeah. We're talking, of course, about that woman supposedly at JFK Airport presenting a passport from Terenza. Right, Terenza, yeah. a country that, well, simply doesn't exist according to every official source. Exactly. No maps, no government records, nothing. It went global almost instantly. And uh, that's precisely why we decided to do this deep dive into the sources you sent. So what's the mission here? Well, our goal is to cut through all that, you know, extreme speculation. Mm -hmm. We need to confirm the official finding. Spoiler, it's debunked. But also, crucially, understand why. Why did this specific story catch fire online? Okay, yeah, let's definitely unpack that. Where did this phantom country even come from? Let's get into it. So the whole thing kicked off with this video, right? It showed a woman, looked totally calm, handing over this Terenza passport, supposedly at JFK Immigration. Mm. And it had that slightly blurry, kind of shaky cam feel, the sort that, you know, makes things seem real, almost instantly authentic. That's key. But the official verdict, it came pretty swiftly, actually. Universally debunked, it's a hoax. No ambiguity there. None. Authorities at JFK confirmed it. Global Records confirmed it. Terenza is fiction. No passenger from a place called Terenza has ever landed at JFK, or anywhere else for that matter. Okay, so completely fabricated, but it looked convincing enough to go viral. How? That leads us to uh, maybe the most interesting part for you listening. Yes, the how. It wasn't just some prankster with a printer. Experts looked closely and, well, the conclusion is pretty startling. They confirmed the video is entirely AI generated, start to finish. Wow. Not actors, not clever editing of real footage, but pure AI. Pure AI. And this is where it gets clever or maybe a bit uh, unnerving. It wasn't designed to look perfect, like some Hollywood effect. What do you mean? It was specifically crafted to mimic that low fidelity cell phone footage look. That slight blurriness, the shaky movement, it was intentional. Wait, hang on. They made it look worse on purpose to make it seem more real. Exactly. It bypasses our usual skepticism towards slick, high quality video. When the analysts dug in, they found the tells subtle things. For what? Inconsistent lighting, maybe. Backgrounds a bit too smooth. Uh, text on the passport that only looked right because the resolution was low. It wasn't about technical perfection. It was about hitting that emotional chord, that desire for a mystery. Precisely. The lesson here isn't just AI video exists. It's that AI is now being used to target that feeling, that intrigue, banking on the story over the pixels. That feels, yeah, almost scarier than the parallel universe theories in a way. It's a different kind of unsettling for sure. Okay, so we have a modern hoax made with cutting edge AI, but you're saying the idea behind it isn't new. Not at all. And this context is crucial. The Terenza story, while using new tech, is basically recycling a very old urban legend. You mean it's based on something else? Directly. It pulls straight from the man from Tor legend. Does that ring a bell? Vaguely, yeah. From the <laughs> 50s, wasn't it? That's the one. Mid 20th century. The story goes, a man arrives at an airport, sometimes Tokyo, sometimes somewhere in Europe with a passport from Tord. Another non-existent country. Exactly. And just like the Terenza woman, he seemed genuinely perplexed that no one recognized his homeland, had currency, documents, the whole thing. So it's the same essential story. It tapped into the anxieties of that era, you know, post-war, Cold War starting, borders shifting. The idea of someone appearing from a place completely unknown felt plausible, almost. Yeah. It spoke to fears about what might lie beyond the known map. And Terenza just updates that for the digital age. Instead of unknown physical places, it's about unverifiable digital realities. We literally watched AI repaint a 60-year-old legend. That's a great way to put it. So we cut through the AI hype, the viral noise, and found an old folktale brought back to life by new tools, leveraging the exact same human fascination with the unknown. It's kind of amazing how well those old narratives still work, just dressed up differently. Which brings us to maybe the final thought for you to consider. If AI can so easily and so convincingly resurrect and reshape these old legends, these bits of folklore, yeah. how do we, moving forward, tell the difference between actual shared history, things that happened, and these these digitally fabricated histories that feel real. Mm, distinguishing real memory from AI-generated nostalgia almost. Exactly. How do we navigate that? Something to chew on.